So this is a story that genuinely has people freaking out on social media right now. A bunch of AI experts just got back from visiting China and what they saw has them basically saying, guys, we might be totally screwed. And it's not just about the AI technology itself. It's about something way more basic that nobody's paying attention to. It's electricity. Now, I know that sounds boring, but just stick with me because this is about to get pretty well. Now, the most shocking quote came from this electricity expert named David Fishman, who knows China's power grid inside and out. He literally said China is set up to hit grand slams, while America is basically, you know, they can basically get on base. And that's not great for us. Now, here's the thing that blew my mind when I was first reading about this, is that China has so much extra electricity that they have basically double what they need at any given time. They're sitting at 80 to 100% extra capacity. Meanwhile, America, we're running on fumes with just 15% extra. And sometimes when it gets really hot or cold, we basically have nothing left. China has a full spare gas tank while we're driving on E. So let's look at the story that started this entire thing. So Fortune magazine dropped this bombshell article on August 14th, 2025, with the title that AI experts have returned from China stunned. The United States grid is so weak that the race for AGI slash ASI might already be over. Now, when I saw this headline, I thought it was clickbait, but then I read and dug a little deeper to see who was saying this stuff. There's this woman named Rui Ma who runs something called the Tech Buzz China. Now, she's been investing in tech companies in both the United States and China for over 15 years, so she kind of knows what she's talking about. Now, she took her whole team on a tour of China's AI facilities in mid-2025, and she came back basically saying, holy crap, we're in trouble. Now, what really got her was that everywhere they went in China, people just assumed the electricity would be there. Like, it wasn't even a question. But in America, every AI company is fighting over power access like it's the Hunger Games. Then there's David Fishman, who spent years studying China's electricity system. This guy doesn't mess around. He straight up said that the US policymakers better hope that China stays friendly, because if they decide to get aggressive, we cannot compete on the energy front. And that's pretty terrifying. And this story went viral immediately. Yahoo Finance, Tom's Hardware, CNBC, Bloomberg, everyone's picked up. And when that many outlets are saying, oh crap, at the same time, you know something's actually up. Now, we actually need to talk about China's insane power advantage explained. So what is actually going on? Well, of course, we spoke about how they've got an 80 to 100% reserve margin, which basically means that they have double the energy they, you know, actually need. It's kind of like having two full fridges of food when you only need one. That's China with electricity. Now, America, we're running on a 15% margin. I say we, but not really from there. And it's basically like having a couple of extra cans of soup in case of emergency. But it gets crazier. China didn't accidentally end up with all of this extra power by accident. They've actually been planning this for decades. Their government has just decided we're going to build way more power plants than we need. And they did it. No debates, no lawsuits, no environmental reviews that take 10 years. Just work hard and build, build, build. Now, China's state grid corporation, which by the way, is the world's third largest company with $546 billion in revenue, has spent $442 billion in the last five years on their power grid. That's almost half a trillion dollars on wires and transformers. And I was surprised to find out that China has these things called ultra high voltage transmission lines. They have 34 of them. And guess what? America has zero. These things can move massive amounts of electricity thousands of miles. So China can build solar panels in the desert and send that power all the way to Beijing. And we can't even get power from Texas to California when we need it. Now, the mind blowing thing about all of this is that China adds more electricity every single year than the entire country of Germany uses every single year. It's like they're adding a whole European country's worth of power annually while we're arguing about whether to fix one bridge. And you have to understand power is everything for AI. So you might be thinking, why do I keep you know, blabbering on about why does AI need so much electricity anyway? And this is where things start to get interesting. Training these big AI models like GPT-4 is just insane in terms of power use. GPT-4's training alone used 50 gigawatt hours of electricity. That's enough to power 5,000 American homes for an entire year just to train one AI model. But here's where it gets really crazy. OpenAI's biggest computer cluster uses 400 megawatts. That's literally the world's largest single building by power consumption. One building using as much electricity as 400,000 homes, and they're planning to build ones that need one gigawatt by 2028 and eight gigawatts by 2030. 
That's eight nuclear power plants worth of electricity for one AI training run. And I came across this wild detail about Meta training their Llama 3 model. They had to create a special command called PyTorch no power plant blow up. And I'm not making this up because the AI training was causing such massive power spikes, it could literally blow up power plants. They waste tens of million dollars every year running fake calculations just to smooth out the power demand so they don't actually crash the grid. Now, the projections are absolutely bonkers. Rand Corporation says that AI data centers will need 327 gigawatts globally by 2030. And right now, all data centers in the world combined use only 88 gigawatts. So we need to basically quadruple the global data center power in five years. Yeah, good luck with that. In places like Virginia, it now takes four to seven years just to get connected to the power grid if you want to build a data center. And by the time you get power in America, China has already trained three new AI models and maybe even taken over the market. So now this is the part that really made me start to think, I mean, oh crap, America's power grid isn't just behind China's. Apparently it's literally falling apart. The Department of Energy put out a report stating that our grid is already at or near capacity in multiple states and over half of North America could face electricity shortages by 2027. That's not some distant future. That's in two years. There are 2,600 gigawatts worth of power plants waiting to connect to the grid, and that's more than double the power plants we already have. Now, they can't connect because of our transmission lines they're already maxed out. It's like having a bunch of fire hoses, but only one tiny pipe to connect them to. And the wait times are getting insane. In 2015, it took around three years to connect a new power plant to the grid. Now it takes five years. If you want to buy a transformer for your power station, the wait time went from 50 weeks in 2021 to 120 weeks now. That's over two years just to get one piece of equipment. And Goldman Sachs calculated that we need $720 billion in upgrades by 2030 just to handle AI demand. McKinsey says globally we need $6.7 trillion, with a T, trillion. People in Ohio are already seeing their electricity bills go up to, you know, by $15 a month just because of these data centers. And that's even before the real AI boom even hits. It got so bad that Trump had to declare a national energy emergency. He literally said, we need to start talking about building emergency power plants just for AI. The previous administration picked four federal sites to emergency build AI data centers when the government is panic building computer facilities I'm guessing you're gonna know things are really bad. Now, further on in the video, I will talk about what America is actually doing because you may have heard that they are building out data centers rapidly and we're gonna get into that in a moment. So this is where things get super interesting. After hearing all of these warnings about China's power grid advantages, America basically said, you know what? hold my beer, and they announced that they're throwing absolutely insane amounts of money at the problem. We're talking over $800 billion. Yeah, that's billion with a B in new investments. That's more money than other countries' entire economies. But here's the thing that has people somewhat divided. Is throwing money at this actually going to work? Or is America trying to fix some money problem that, you know, they really can't solve? Let me break down what's actually happening right now because it sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie. So do you guys know about the Stargate project? This is America's $500 billion Hail Mary. The biggest news was Stargate. And when I first heard about this, I thought it was fake news because the numbers are just ridiculous. President Trump announced in 2025 that OpenAI, SoftBank, Oracle, and some other companies from the UAE are teaming up to build $500 billion worth of AI data centers. To put that in perspective, that's like, more than the GDP of Belgium. And so they're starting with the massive facility in Texas that's bigger than Central Park. We're talking 875 acres of just computers and cooling systems. The power requirements alone are enough to run almost a million homes. And get this, parts of it are actually already running. They got some of it operational in just a few months, which is genuinely quite impressive. But here's where it gets messy. Elon Musk immediately called BS on the whole thing. He literally tweeted, they don't actually have the money. And honestly, he might have a point. Bloomberg reported that by 2025, they still hadn't raised most of the funds they claimed they had. It's like announced you're buying a Ferrari before checking your bank account. The partners are already fighting about where to put those data centers, and Wall Street is saying the project is struggling to get off the ground. So yeah, big promises, but the jury's still out on whether they can actually pull this thing off. Now, remember Elon Musk? Yeah, this guy's doing his own thing in Memphis. This is one of the craziest parts of the whole story. While everyone's talking about Stargate, Elon Musk just went ahead and built the world's most powerful AI computer in Memphis, and get this, 122 days. Not years, days. 
and I was surprised to find out that the company XAI basically took over this massive facility and stuffed it with 200,000 of Nvidia's most expensive chips. We're talking about a facility that uses so much power it could run 750,000 homes. And unfortunately, the locals are not apparently thrilled because it's using natural gas turbines that are pumping out emissions, but Musk doesn't seem to care. Now, the really mind-blowing part is that he apparently is planning to expand this to 1 million GPUs by 2026. For context, there's more computing power than most countries have in total. He's raised $22 billion last year alone, and is trying to get another $12 billion for a second facility. Now, what's concerning about this is that he's doing this faster than anyone thought possible. While the government is still doing environmental reviews and paperwork, Musk just built it in four months. That's the kind of speed that China has, and it's making people nervous about whether traditional American companies can keep up. Now, if we're talking about companies, we can talk about Meta. They're apparently building a facility bigger than the Pentagon. I came across this absolutely bonkers fact. Meta, you know, Facebook's parent company, is building a data center in Louisiana that's 4 million square feet. That's bigger than the Pentagon, and they're not messing around with the power either. They need over a gigawatt of electricity, which is basically a small nuclear power plant's worth. Now, Mark Zuckerberg announced that they're spending between 60 to $65 billion just in 2025 on AI infrastructure. To put that in perspective, that's more than the entire GDP of Luxembourg. They're also building another massive cluster in Ohio that's going online in 2026. What's interesting is that Meta figured out how to build these things 31% cheaper and 50% cheaper before. They're basically treating these data centers like an assembly line now. But even with all these tricks, they're still running into the same problem everyone else is. There's just not enough power available where they want to build. Microsoft, Google, and Amazon are essentially just throwing around money like it's Monopoly. Microsoft says it plans to spend about $80 billion in its fiscal year, which ends this June, to build out artificial intelligence. This announcement was actually tucked into a blog post from Microsoft President Brad Smith, who published it today, coinciding with the start of the new Congress. He lays out some ideas in that blog post for the U.S. to lead in artificial intelligence. And this has people freaking out. Like, Microsoft said they're spending $80 billion in 2025 alone on AI data centers. Google, $75 billion. Amazon, they're planning to spend over $100 billion in the next decade. Combined, these tech companies are spending over $320 billion this year. That's as much, you know, nearly as much as the entire US military budget. And Microsoft, they're doing something particularly crazy. They're working with BlackRock, yeah. The investment company that everyone secretly thinks run the world to create an $100 billion AI fund just for AI infrastructure. And they've also given OpenAI over $13 billion to help them build their stuff. So let me know what you think about this. America isn't completely screwed here. They've still attracted $67 billion in AI investment, you know, while China only got $8 billion. And they do make 73% of the world's large language models. And the $320 billion that private companies are, you know, spending this year is absolutely insane. And it does show that America has some significant capital to burn. But the problem is, is that money cannot buy time. Private investors want to see returns in three to five years. Some power plants take 10 years to build. You see that issue? And China's government can just decide we're building 50 power plants and boom, they're built. They add more electricity every single year than all of Germany does. So, I mean, it's pretty crazy. On one side, you have people saying everyone will benefit from AI. Then you've got Elon Musk saying, you know, Stargate is BS. I mean, the next five years are definitely going to determine everything. If projects like Stargate actually work and those nuclear power plants come online, maybe, just maybe we have a shot. But if we're still doing environmental reviews in 2030 while China's built out 50 new power plants, well, then maybe the race for AGI slash ESI might already be over. The craziest part is that even with all this money and effort, it might not matter. DeepSeek just showed that China might not even need as much power as us if they're just smarter about using it. It's like we're in an arms race to build bigger guns while they've figured out how to make bullets that fly further. So yeah, America is doing a lot, but whether